Now that we've set up our recording, let's go ahead and go back into our settings here. And what we're going to do is set up motion detection. So in order to enable motion detection, right now we're set up as record always. You're going to select motion only. And then you're going to highlight the areas that you want to do motion detection on. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply there. Now we've set up the motion recording. Now let's go to our motion tab within the camera. We go to motion, and it's going to pull up the camera's data, and we're going to see right now it's set for a 5. So everything's just going to be kind of baseline standard. But let's say this area is critically important to us, and we want the camera to be more sensitive. So the motion detection is set from a 0 to 9. 0 being not recording, 9 being most sensitive. So I can highlight the area here. And let's make that a 9. I should have selected my area first. Sorry, just set it up to a 0. So now we've just set that area up for a 9. Let's put some low sensitivity areas. We're not really concerned with this push right here. So let's highlight that one. And we're going to get a sensitivity of 1. We can create multiple boxes of this. You can create this however you want it to be based upon the individual unique scene that you have within your motion detection. If for some reason you wanted motion detection to be disabled, this is where you would do it. This feature is fantastic if you have a lot of background areas where you have traffic, trees, airplanes flying over, things of that nature. That's motion detection within DW Spectrum.